James Webb Space Telescope. I was talking about it this afternoon or yesterday with a community member. It's a space telescope that is it's exciting to be the successor of Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope will, so they say, provide greatly improved resolution and sensitivity over the Hubble. It will also enable a broad range of investigations across the fields of astronomy, cosmology, including observing some of the most distant events and objects in the universe, such as formations of the first galaxies. Other goals include understanding the formation of obviously stars, planets, direct imaging, exoplanets, and novas. The primary mirror of the telescope, the optical telescope element, is composed of 16 hexagonal mirror segments which combine to create a 6.5 meter, yes 21 foot, 260 inches diameter mirror that is much larger than the Hubble's 2.4 meter, 7.9 foot, 94 inch mirror. Unlike the Hubble, which observes in the near ultraviolet visible and near infrared 0.1 to 1 nanometer spectrum, the James Webb Telescope will observe in a lower frequency range from a long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared. I wonder who's driving it. And this is what the James Space Telescope is supposed to replace, the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble Space Telescope is a space telescope that was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990. It was not the first space telescope, but is one of the largest and most versatile and is well known as both a vital research tool and a public relation boon for astronomy. The Hubble telescope was built by the United States Space Agency, NASA, with contributions from the European Space Agency, the Space Telescope Science Institute. Hubble features a 2.4 meter, 7.9 foot mirror, and its four main instruments observe in the ultraviolet, visible, and near-infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Hubble's orbit outside the distortion of Earth's atmosphere allows it to take extremely high-resolution images with substantially low background light than ground-based telescopes. It has recorded some of the most detailed visible light images allowing a deep view into space. Well, this is my Hubble. Started off with the little one on the left, the little Spitzer, and this one, the Big Mama, a 14-inch telescope. More details and colors on the surface. We'll get in nice and close. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Had a bad night. And, you know, <laughs> this channel is uh, something I do not want to stop. So, obviously, no matter what happens at home, I take this um, as my real job and that, you know, you go into work in the morning and you don't talk about the problems. <laughs> <laughs> that is basically um, what I'm doing. But there's a lot of fun going on. So um, it's all a uh, diversion, right? It's all a confusion. And now I know a confirmation that um, I'm not a hacker. I don't know anything about it. But uh, I know a lot about uh, how they come in. And that's what I'm studying. And we have a network traffic problem here that uh, the views are being literally uh, robbed from the channel through you know hacking that YouTube would not even... Uh, see this occurring. Obviously, it's going on with many other channels, but uh, you know, I'll get into that a bit further down the road if the troubles persist. Look at the lights in the background. We're looking at a closed surface. Enjoy, and I'll get another one up as soon as possible. Thanks, everyone.
Let's take a look at the South Pole. This is where India supposedly was headed. They said they lost contact. It was almost on the surface. Where is it now? Dark structure hiding inside of Aristarchus Crater. A secret, the dark structures are inside of the lights. For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address.
Houston, say again, please. 